Are you serious? Are you serious? I come back for another video because it's very important. We're going live with this at Periscope, at New Livestream, Roku Satellite, my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com, and on this uh, YouTube channel as well as Periscope. I want to say hi to everybody. Listen, Yellowstone, it's a danger zone. I mean, really it is, folks. The super volcano earthquake swarm now passes 1,500 tremors or quakes. 1,500 quakes. Matter of fact, the observers have now recorded more than 1,500 earthquakes on the western edge of Yellowstone National Park as part of an ongoing swarm. Currently, the swarm began on June 12th, and as of uh, today, 1,562 earthquakes. Utah's seismograph station is saying a spokesperson for the United States told Newsweek that the activity appeared to be slowly winding down, but, in, but incidents have not. They've continued. We've even had some stronger ones again. And the largest of the quakes was a 4.4, the biggest recorded earthquake in super, on the super volcano there at Yellowstone National Park in Montana uh, since 2014. And a further eight events registered in uh, magnitude three or more. The quakes have been occurring at between zero and 14 kilometers. That's very shallow. And five of the quakes have been reported by people in the area have, are being felt above ground. A vast supervolcano slumbers beneath Yellowstone National Park, with some experts claiming that any future eruption could prove catastrophic for humanity. What? Don't, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But good news is this, Jamie Farrell, a research a uh, professor at the University of Utah told, also told Newsweek that the series of quakes is unlikely to lead to a volcanic eruption because earthquake swarms are a common event. But they're not common. Not 1,500 of these. Not 1,500 of these. Uh, when a volcano starts acting up prior to an eruption, one of the typical signs is increased seismic, seismic activity. Duh. Uh, but however, he said, uh, it is usually just one of the signs of an impending eruption. Other signs include large changes in surface deformation. Well, it's raised two feet. Uh, changes to the hydrothermal system. They've had unbelievable hot, scalding hot water in some of these um, springs. That's uh, we've had the they've had the paved pavement melt. They've had animals running, running out of Yellowstone in herds. Um, look, folks, this is, a, this is what's going on. We have a serious situation here. There's no question about it. I've, I've, uh, we've been watch look, I've been watching the earthquakes now every day for seven years. Every day for seven years years I've been watching what's going on with the earthquakes and the and the seismic activity and all the different things that happen I can tell you right now this is a very serious situation and they know it we have two which one do you want to say which is more dangerous the super volcano rumbling the asteroid 2012 TC4 approaching or North uh, North Korea's Kim Jong Un becoming Kim Jong Boom and Kim Jong Soon. What? So I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is very serious. Very serious. Very very serious. I I am keeping a close eye on it. I realize that the times we live in, things do happen, uh, and 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 you got to stay on top of it. And so I'm just saying. Jesus said there'd be wars and rumors of wars. Okay, false Christ and false prophets would rise and they shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. And all of these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. It's coming. It's happening. It's here.
Are you serious? Folks, give your life to Jesus Christ. I'm telling you right now, don't be left behind. We're running out of time. Check out some of you that are in the chat room right now. I just want you to know, thank you. You realize that you're living in the last days. You realize that time is running out. Some of you do and some of you don't. So please give your life to Jesus Christ because without a question, we are running out of time. If you want to give your life to Christ, you can type in the chat box right now. There are people there to pray with you. Or if you're watching this on the archive, type in the comments. I want to be saved. I'm ready to be saved. Or come to my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com right now. That's what you should do because I have people there live 24-7. Go there right now. And just say, look, I want to get saved. I just watched a video and I want to be saved. Go to paulbegleyprophecy.com. Go there right now and let somebody help you and lead you to Jesus Christ. I'll be back with more in just a moment.